Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math and today we're learning about the Roth IRA. I'm a huge fan of the Roth IRA. I started doing this as soon as I finished college and paid off my college debt and got a Roth IRA account and really started to maximize the potential of a Roth IRA. Now, disclaimer, I am no financial advisor, so please do your own research and talk to your own financial advisor to see what is best for you, but I love the Roth IRA. I think it's one of the greatest tools to build wealth. So, a few things. What is a Roth IRA and why is it different than other types of retirement funds? Well, Roth IRA is a special retirement account that is funded by post-tax income. All right, meaning you can only put in money that you've already paid taxes on. Other retirement accounts like a 401k or 403b with your company, that money is taken out, put into a retirement account, and you don't pay taxes on the money you put in. You're only gonna pay taxes when you pull that money back out. Roth IRA is different. It's different because you pay taxes now, that money goes into an account, it grows. Then when you pull out that money in retirement, there is no tax on it, okay? So that whole lump sum, it can just be yours and you can do whatever you want. You can keep it riding in that retirement wave and the compound interest and still keep making more money in retirement or you start pulling money out. Either way, it's not taxed, which is key. And the benefit again is that it's tax-free withdrawal. It's tax-free when you pull out in retirement, right? But also, there's an extra bonus with that, right? The bonus is you can withdraw contributions, not your growth, if needed without penalty, okay? Because you already put in money into this account that you already paid taxes on. So that, that money, that initial money, the contributions that you put into it, you can pull out when you need it, right? So actually, I personally did a little bit of that when I purchased my house. I needed a little extra capital, put as a down payment to fix some things up because I actually got a short sale for my house. But I used a little bit of that money there, okay, to help buy, you know, purchase my house, a big investment as it is, right? But it wasn't penalty, right? There's no penalty, there's no extra tax that paid on that necessarily. I used it for my, whatever I needed. Now you use it for education, you know, paying your bills, things like that. So it's, the risk is fairly low for something like this, okay? There's special rules that apply to when you can pull out and how you do it. So again, talk to your advisor or accountant to help you through that, okay? But I personally tried it whenever I put money into an investment account, I leave it there as much as possible, as long as possible, right? You want that compound interest to maximize for you. Income loop. If you make $120,000 as a single person or $189,000 married, and again, that's filed jointly, okay? These are limits where you can contribute to Roth IRA. After you get past that amount of income, there are certain rules that apply, okay? And it's based on what percent more, et cetera, et cetera. But basically, most people are below these limits, and so they can contribute the maximum amount into the Roth IRA account of taxable income. Now, what some strategies people do is they'll put money into like a 401k account that doesn't count as income that they're making now, puts them below that threshold, and then can contribute to a Roth IRA. All right. Lastly here, the max contribution. Well, the maximum you're allowed to contribute as is, as this video right now is $5,500 a year, okay? At first, it doesn't seem like a lot, right? But remember, this is after tax income, okay? So $5,500 a year is the maximum you're allowed to contribute to your Roth IRA, okay? And I always try as much as possible, as much as I can to maximize that as much as possible, okay? So I want to go over, so now, now you know the main, the main points of Roth IRA, why it's beneficial, why it differs from other IRAs or other investment accounts. So I'm going to tell a little story here of a tale of three brothers. We have, this is something that helps really show the maximization that you can get with retirement. And the principles applied here doesn't necessarily just mean to a Roth IRA, but it really can help in all retirement and really shows the benefit of 
investing early in your life, okay? That's something I, I was happy I did as soon as I paid off my college debt and I really start putting money into investments and I hope other people do. Some people wait till later on in life to do that and if you can do it, all right, or not if, make yourself be able to do it, put money in towards that retirement as soon as possible. So let's assume a few things. We're gonna assume, a little disclaimer here, so we're gonna assume an 8% rate of return on all of these calculations here on average. You know, some years are gonna be better than others, but you wanna keep putting money into that retirement account. Okay, each year they're contributing to their retirement account. Once they just make that decision, jump into putting money, money into their retirement, they're each gonna maximize that. This is a little max here, right? They're gonna max that at 5,500 each year. So, brother one. Or two. We're going to highlight different times and where they start, at what age, right? When do they start? The amount at 50 years old, the amount at 60 they have, and the amount at 70. Total contributions that are each going to put in. So, brother one, let's say, assume brother one starts. All right, let's, uh, they're triplets or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Starts at 35 years. So he's 35 years old and decides that he wants to start into his Roth IRA account. Again, we're assuming an 8% rate of return. And then once he's 35, from then on out, he's going to contribute 5500 a year into his retirement. So by the age of 50, by the age of 50, he will have $161,284 into his retirement account. Now, at 60, that's going to grow. So if you think about it, in 15 years, he would have a total of 161000 roughly. In another 10 years after that, he'll $434,000, hopefully $249, and you can start seeing the magic of compound interest. By the age of 70, he will become a millionaire at $1,000,000. $23,562. And the only amount of money that he's going to put into his total contributions come out to be $192,500. So after from year th when he's 35 years old to when he turns 70, right, he would only have contributed a total of $192,500, and that's $5,500 a year. But he'll, his retirement will be worth $1,023,562. It's a good set of money now. Now, Brother 2 starts a little earlier. He decides at the age of 30, five years earlier, so 30 years old, okay, at 30 years old, he's going to start contributing to his Roth IRA. And he's going to maximize this again at $5,500 a year. By the age of 50, so again, five years earlier than his other brother, he has $271,826 into his retirement account. Okay, By the age of 60, that even gets more, $672,902. Okay? And then by 70, when he's ready to retire, I could always come retire earlier, but just for the numbers here, at 70, he has $1 million five hundred thirty eight thousand seven hundred ninety six dollars so he has over half a million dollars more than his other brother and he just started five years earlier okay five years earlier his total contribution to his Roth IRA was two hundred and twenty thousand dollars okay so he turned two hundred twenty thousand dollars into one point five million dollars by the time of retirement okay a lot bigger growth there a lot more growth right just five years earlier now brother three started a little earlier, a lot earlier actually, at 21, right when he finished college, he was 21 years old. At 21 years old, he decides he wants to contribute into his Roth IRA and maximize it every year. Took an extra job, whatever he needed, to make sure he made that payment of 5,500 a year into his Roth IRA. So, uh, by the age of 50, this may surprise you here, $617,558. By the age of 50, he has over half a million dollars into his retirement account, but that doesn't stop there. By the age of 60, okay, by the age of 60, he has $1,419,311. 
That amount, the age of 60, was almost the same as his other brother at 70, and his uh, brother two, right, at 70 years old, and brother one never even got close to that amount, right? At 60, he's already hit that. But we're gonna keep going with this, right? He keeps putting money into his Roth IRA, right? he keeps letting it ride in a sense, and grow, and use the, the joys and the benefits of compound interest. And by the time he is 70 years old, it is worth three million hundred and fifty thousand two hundred and thirty six dollars. A lot more, right? Almost double, or more than double than his brother too. And he just started nine years earlier at twenty one. Right when he finished college, he was putting money, taking a second job, whatever he needed to at the beginning to maximize that Roth IRA. The earlier the better. The only amount, right? How much did he actually contribute, right, into that Roth IRA? was $269,500. During his whole life, he only put in $269,500 into his Roth IRA, and now it's worth $3.15 million. Again, and when he pulls out that money, there's no tax on it. That is all his money. He only paid tax on the two sixty nine thousand that he put into the Roth IRA, and the most benefit happened when he was younger, probably when he wasn't making nearly as much money as he was later on, right? So it benefits you. You're a lower tax bracket when you're younger, okay? So a few things I really want to highlight here about this, okay? So brother three, brother three is what we all want to be. Brother three, right? He made the most money. Brother three here. So he only contributed 77,000 more than brother one during his life. Now he started earlier, okay? But by doing it earlier and working harder and doing that stuff, he only contributed $77,000 more. So at the age of 70, brother three will have, again, $2 million more than his other brother, brother one there, okay, in retirement. So that shows how important it is. He started earlier, he started much earlier, but right out of college, made sure it worked, put that money into his retirement account, okay? And, his Roth, and that's just Roth IRA, right? He's maximized Roth IRA. He could have something with his job, 401k, 403b account, you know, other investments in stocks and whatever he wants to do. But just in the Roth IRA, he'll have $2 million more than other, his other brother. He can choose to spend that money, right? It's tax-free. He can do whatever he wants with it, invest it in something else, pull it out and buy, you know, say a real estate deal or whatever whatever it is, doesn't matter. He can do that without tax. It's just his money. The government will have a hand in it. It is just his. And he only paid taxes on his total amount, 269000 that he put into it, okay? So again, I know I'm a broken record, right? But I love the Roth IRA. I think you definitely should consider it, go into it. But hopefully here, you can see the benefits, again, of the Roth IRA is you're paying tax now, but no tax later when it really matters when you hit this right there, $3 million, massive growth, all right? Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com